thesmartlocal.com. Hi guys, so we're at Changi Airport right now because M1 is sending us to Tokyo, Japan. Yep, and before we even leave, we're going to be activating our data passport because it allows us to use our local data bundle overseas. This means that when we land in Narita, we don't have to go hunting for a SIM card or a Wi-Fi router. Okay, done. So, let's go! So right now we've finally got to Oku, which is where our Airbnb is going to be and we are trying to locate or basically find a way to get to it lah. Yeah, it says it's a 3 minutes walk. So we just follow this direction lah. Okay, so it's day 2. Yesterday was pretty much just us settling down but today is where the real fun starts. Look at my phone. Jonathan. He's like, there's a campaign in the... <laughs> So we're here at Namja Town already. This is where the ice cream is located. And what else is there? I think there are some arcade games. And there's also a gyoza strip which we are going to try. So we managed to get six flavors. Not all of them were the popular ones because a lot of them were sold out. We got some weird ones. Egg flavor. It's quite nice here. It is like the custard in the cream puff. Yo-Yo Gi Park and there are performances right now so we're gonna go and check it out So what do you think of Yo-Yo Gi Park? It really not happening at the Japanese It really not happening at the Japanese <laughs> So we're in Shibuya right now and this is the queue for Genki. So we're actually trying to find a, another place nearby. So Shibuya, oh this one, this one. We are looking at ratings now to see which one we should we should choose. Hey, this one got three view eh. Okay, okay, let's go there. Okay, so we finally found this place. It's called Commune 246. We just have to go down and it's like a whole open area of restaurants and cafes. Ribbon fries are like Johnny Depp. They're never gonna get old. Okay, so now we are done with breakfast and we're heading to Fuji Q. I think it's a it's a theme park which is about two to three hours away. So see you there. To the counter, the printer got a lot of problems. Uh, basically, <laughs> we took a photo of it and we printed it out. <laughs> so, we solved the ticketing issue. There are a ton of rides here, including one of the fastest roller coasters in the world. Actually, this place has set many Guinness World Records before. If you take a look over there, right, it has like a 121 degree drop. That's like even worse than a vertical free fall. We're gonna be heading back to the city area where we're gonna be exploring a Where we're gonna be exploring an arcade warehouse! So let's go! Oh my god, we're finally here! It's damn creepy! You not scared? Ah? Go 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 go! 
This place is basically, it's called Anata no Warehouse. There's actually an arcade, but it has a theme, Kowloon Wall City. An entire floor dedicated to claw machines. They've got jackpot machines and a bunch of other games that is insane. You kind of lose touch with reality here actually. John is transforming into Mario. I feel like a plumber. Never thought I would become a plumber. <laughs> In my life, <laughs> Okay, we couldn't drive because my license had some issues. They were very, very nice. They, they allowed me to wear their costume. They, they even drove this cut out for me. Now, sissy, that wow. So, we just found the place. It's basically a conveyor belt sushi restaurant which lets you exchange the plates that you've used to eat with gacha pawn prizes. Oh, it's looking good. We've eaten more than half of it and we have about 10 plates. So we're gonna try playing the gachapon machine now. Oh my god! Yes! We won! So now we are going to try this thing called Geoduck. We have no idea what is Geoduck, but we are going to eat it first, then Google to find out. Fair fishy. <laughs> okay, show him the picture. Show him the picture while he's chewing. Faster, show him the Oh my god. <laughs> That's so mother nasty. <laughs> you are eating a snail. Eh? So we went over to an information counter and we tried to find out if there's anything interesting to do. And somebody told us that there's this event that's going on for two days at a particular shrine in somewhere in Shinjuku. Oh, it's over there, it's over there. We're just done exploring this place. It's crazy, extremely tiring, hot, but it's so it's fun. It's almost 2 a.m. right now. So we're gonna head back and hopefully tomorrow we have enough energy to continue. Right now we're making a day trip to Yokohama. And it's only I think less than an hour away from where we're staying. So that's good. We're actually going to Yokohama now. I think you should go to Chinatown. Chinatown. Uh, it's a huge Chinatown. Nice. We're gonna be like the locals. <laughs> Legit. <laughs> the red brick warehouse of Yokohama. Okay, so we're walking through this red brick warehouse, which apparently is a mall. I'm gonna try to get to the other end, and from there we can probably get some very solid IG Live photos. This is exactly what we want. This is the mud IG Live. From here, I'm going to switch language. This entire segment is going to be vlogged in Cantonese or Hokkien or dialects basically. Oh, I like Chinatown. Why must the guy on the sign wear a hat? <laughs> it doesn't make no sense. Okay, let's go inside Chinatown. Do you feel like you're in China? Yes. It really is. Yeah. It's really quite legit. What are you queuing for? <laughs> Xiao, Long, Xiao Long Pao. Why you queue for this one in particular? Because they say it's number one. Not because the queue very long, that's why you like. I mean both kind of support each other. <laughs> very hot. Eee, eee. It's over your shirt. <laughs> 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 nice. 
it's just like Xiaolong Pao but they fry the bottom one. After watching him eat, do you want to eat? I don't want to eat I'm gonna be tactful about this. I'm gonna make an incision here with my mouth and I'm gonna drain it out a little. See the hole? Yeah. <laughs> you win! What do you think of this one? Very messy. Yeah, it's messy. Too. Okay, uh, this one you all better be careful. You go and get a poncho. <laughs> get a poncho, then you eat this, okay? The soup, right, has a very prawny taste. Which is very nice. And then try something like this before. So how you find Chinatown? It was fun. I think the busier streets are like the best. It really looks nothing like Japan. Mm. Like either Taiwan or Hong Kong or China itself. So now I got a surprise for you. I'm gonna bring something very interesting. Whoa! What on earth is this? It's a fishing restaurant. You fish for your fish, then after that, then you get a chance to cook it however you want. Okay, so right now we are sitting in this like very private room and it's traditional stuff. We're actually sitting on the floor. We have to take our shoes and all that possessed. And you can actually see the fishes right next to you here. And here we go. Mm, the crunch is extreme. Nice, nice, nice. I like. I like this, I like this. So, we're done here. It was really fun. And tomorrow, we're going to be heading to Harajuku, where I think there's tons of shopping to be done. So, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay? Bye. Mm. Is this snowing? Uh, is this snowing? Is this snow? Is this November? Okay, I'm just kidding guys. So, it is our last day in Japan and it's freaking snowing. Apparently, it's been 54 years since it last snowed in November. Which means, hashtag November. Anyway, we're going to be heading over to Harajuku for a couple of hours before we head over to the airport to catch our flight back to Singapore. Let's see what we find in this snow. Why is it so good? Huh? Why got hair in my mouth? Why is it? No! <laughs> what is the feeling? Boy! <laughs> <laughs> So thanks for watching us and joining us on our adventure in Japan and also thanks to M1 for sponsoring us and letting us try their M1 Data Passport. If you are travelling anytime soon, you can go and check out the list of destinations. It's quite extensive so there's quite a high chance that you are able to use the Data Passport in your country too. And I think it's super convenient. Like we were using it to navigate, we were using it to use Google Translate. Even on the, the mountain when we went to the theme park, right, we could access our email to load the, the booking confirmation. <laughs> yeah. Even though we had to print it out in the end. Yeah, so if you guys need more information about this M1 Data Passport, you can check it out in the link in the description box below. My favourite part would have to be the Temple Festival. It's like a mega pasamana. My favourite part was when we made a day trip out to Yokohama and we were able to see like a very different vibe from Japan. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and you can check out all our other videos down there. You can also check out our hashtag WeKnowStickerNoJapanese. <laughs> Sayonara!